Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing December's budget with me. I have both of my sheets here of my breakdown of my budget and then as well as my month. So you can see when everything is due in the month as well as when my paydays are and what I have going on this month. So first of all, it's December. I cannot believe that we're ending 2022 and starting 2023. I have exciting news um, to share with all of you guys. I've shared a little bit over on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, I will link that right here. My exciting news is I did get a job. I'm so freaking excited. I actually start on the 6th. Today is the 2nd. So in just a few days, I start working. My fiance's schedule changes and we will become a two income family again. I am ecstatic about that. I cannot believe that's finally happening. I'm just so happy. Um, and then actually on Monday, um, I had a tooth pulled. I have like problems like with my roots and my teeth and like them being curved and hurting. And so I did have a tooth pulled. It also had a really bad cavity, but with the combination of both, they decided that I needed a tooth pulled. So I'm only like four days from that. So if you hear me sound a little funny, that's why I'm still recovering from it. It was on the top in the back of my mouth. So really sore, super sensitive still. Um, but yeah, so I started a job. I'm also no longer doing social media for that local business anymore. Um, today actually was my last day being paid for that. They paid last week. So yeah, so I'm no longer doing that, starting a new job. I'm super excited and I can't wait to share with you guys where I'm working. I'm sharing this because I'm so excited. Um, I am going to be working at Starbucks. <laughs> so excited. I actually used to work there like 10 years ago. I did like a seasonal position for Christmas, but yeah. Okay, let me get into this because I've wasted so much time talking and I'll just probably talk a little bit more later on about it. But so obviously today is payday the second and I and my fiance's paydays now land on the same days. So um, I'll start getting paid on the 16th. So he got paid this time. We both get paid this on the 16th and we both get paid on the 30th. So this month we're getting one, two, three, for five paychecks in the month of December. Holy crap, I'm so excited. Okay, so I obviously wrote out that I have these bills and that there's different colors for them. So for my paycheck on the second, if you guys hear weird noises, my dishwasher's running and I'm currently filming this in my kitchen, so don't mind that. But so everything pink will be covered by this payday and then everything green will be covered by this payday. And then this payday on the December 30th will actually go to help the beginning bills in January. So that's why there's nothing here, but yeah. So this is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and get into how much my bills are. So my subscription here on the second is $5. Okay, my subscription on the 4th is $10, my phone bill is $253, and then keep this in mind that this phone bill is for two phones, two watches, and an iPad, so I know it's a lot, but we have a lot of devices, and I'm hoping to pay all of them off with my tax return so this monthly bill can go down. Uh, my electric bill I pay is $170. This subscription on the 7th is $13. My credit one payment is $40. My internet bill is $75. My subscription on the 15th is $15. And then my rent is $1,600. Okay, so that is everything that'll be covered by this payday is all in this. So now moving on to the 16th. I have a subscription due on the 16th that is $5. Moving on to the 18th, 
Um, I recently got new glasses and I haven't had new glasses in over six years, so it's long overdue, but I had to pay, they were $260. I had to pay $154 the day I got them, on my birthday actually, in November. And then I set up monthly payments for three months of $30. So $30 is gonna be due for that. Now my M loan um, is $100. This is a personal loan through a family member that I owe. Um, again, I'm paying off my tax return in the coming year. My daughter's school is $60. This is split between me and her grandmother. She is homeschooled, but it's a tuition accredited homeschool. So it's normally like a hundred, I think in $40, I pay 60, she pays 70. Um, and then my car insurance is $94. My premier bank card is $40. And then my water and sewer bill is I pay $80 for this. Now keep in mind that this is high because I do have a pool in my house. I live in Florida and so I do have a pool outside and then we have sprinkler systems and things like that. So our water bill is higher because of those things. Okay, my Capital One bill is $40. And then I have two subscriptions that come out on the 28th and they are both $10 each. So then this is what my month looks like. These are the bills that I have. Now this does not include like monthly expenses or anything like that. This is just the bills that come through our account. Every single month, this is what they look like. And we have been a one income family. So normally this is it. Like we barely have anything after this to go towards necessities and stuff. And I will show you that here on this page. So I am gonna set this over here. Um, actually really quick, I'm going to add up all my subscriptions because I do need to add that to this, my budget template. So let me go ahead and add all of those together. Okay, so my monthly subscriptions are $68. So I just wanted to have that. So when I set this to the side, I know. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just write that here. I know it's not in order, but I just don't wanna forget. So we know that my monthly subscriptions are $68 this month. Okay, so I know that my fiance's paychecks are going to change. Um, he should have, all of his paychecks should be 16. His first one, this one was 16. 45 and then I know his next ones are gonna change because his hours are gonna change because I'm starting work but they should still be like 1500 so I'm gonna add 1500 and 1500 so I'm expecting that he will make now normally we only have two paydays so keep that in mind that this is not normal normally it's three thousand like one hundred and fifty dollars for a family of six this is because he has three paydays this month but i don't really count the last payday because it has to be totally used for january but yeah so his i'm expecting him to have four thousand six hundred and forty five dollars that he makes this month oh whoops okay and then for me, um, I know that I'm, my next paycheck will be a minimum. I work seven days at five hours each day, times that by my pay, plus my tips. I'm expecting my payday on the 16th to be this. And then my paycheck on the 30th, Honestly, I'm just counting on it probably being like 800. So I'm just gonna add 800 because it's only gonna be a little bit more hours. So I should make 1475. You guys, we've not made this kind of money in forever. I'm so excited to hit debt with it. Okay, so now we're gonna add his income. 
Six, five. Wow, that's just unbelievable. Normally, again, it's like 3,000 less than this. That's just mind blowing. So thank you for Christmas because I am spending some of this on Christmas. Um, okay, so we did subscriptions. We know my phone bill is $253. My electric is 170, internet is 75, rent is 1,600, my glasses is 30, my loan is 100, my daughter's school is 60, her insurance is 94. Oh, that one should not be there. I'm gonna just, sorry. Okay, and then water and sewer, I pay 82. Okay. So now we're gonna add up all my monthly bills. So we have Wow, okay, so my monthly bills are two thousand five hundred and thirty dollars. Okay, like I said before, so normally this is only like three thousand one hundred. So if you were to think 3,100 minus all of our bills, that only leaves $600 for credit card payments, along with gas, necessities, groceries, my dog, everything. We have been very strapped financially for a really long time. So I'm really excited to finally have some money and be a two income family. I'm just over the moon. So let's take our total that we're gonna make and then minus our bills. That leaves us with $3,590 remaining. So then if we take that amount, and I know that our payments for each of these are $40. So I'm just gonna say $40 to each even though I know I'm paying off some of these. <laughs> so um, that's gonna be $120. So we're gonna take this minus 120. That's gonna give us $3,470. And then I'm gonna skip savings because I don't really know if we're going to save because of Christmas or not. So gas, my job is a little bit out of the way and because of that i need to make sure oh i'm sorry could you guys not see any of that oh my gosh you guys okay so here's where i put the total and the remaining um i think that's all that i like cut out of there sorry um and so this is where we're left with i'm not sure if i'm going to be saving because of christmas i will take that later um, January, I'll have more of an idea of what I make and what he makes on a regular basis. So this is kind of a little bit of a guesstimate. Okay, so gas, because I have to, I'm gonna have to fill up, I think at least once a week and it's $80 a week to fill up. Now my gas tank is already full. So I'm guesstimating, I filled up yesterday. So if I filled up yesterday and my tank's full, I think I shouldn't need to fill up again until, I'm gonna say, if I do weekly, let's just do that. So one, two, three, four times. Um, my gas tank is $80 to fill up. So I'm gonna plan $320 is going to gas because of my job. Um, now eating out, my fiance is horrible about this. Is anyone else's significant other like this? That I'll forget to take out meat. And so his solution is eat out. Like, and I don't mean like sit down, eat out. I mean like fast food, eat out. It kills my budget. It's killing us. I have to start budgeting. And I know I'm not gonna be able to get away with taking it away from him <laughs> because that's what he wants and he does work. And I do think that he should be able to. Um, so, I'm gonna just plan like $40 a week because that's enough for either two cheap trips with a family of six, remember that. Either two cheap tri trips or like one trip 
where we go to like Wendy's. Wendy's is kind of expensive and that's his favorite place to go. So um, I'm gonna say like 40 a week. I'm not planning this week. Actually, we're probably just gonna start that on the 16th because we actually just, we did have Wendy's yesterday. So I'm gonna start that here. So if I do 40, 40, 40, um, that's gonna be 120 to eating out. Okay, necessities are always $250 a month because I have diapers, wet wipes, and all that. Now, groceries, um, I've showed it you guys in the past that we do get WIC and food stamps, and that is because, like I said, this was before I got my job, and I technically have not started yet. So once I get my first paycheck, um, I will be reporting that to them um, because that needs adjusting because I'm not going to just leave it the way it is. But I do get food stamps on the 20th of every month. So um, I am going to have to report my new income and I don't know what that's going to look like. But for right now, we do have food stamps from November. Like I said, I'm not getting my first paycheck till here. So technically on this day, we become a two income family. Um, so I do get food stamps and I do get WIC. So I don't normally have to put a lot of money to groceries. Normally I do like $50 a week. Um, so honestly, I'm going to just plan like 150 for now because I don't know what our groceries is really going to look like. Now we just did get dog food and I have a amazing story if you follow me on instagram you've already heard it but the last time i went to go get dog food and diapers i had someone pay for my entire purchase at target it was 170 dollars, you guys it was right before thanksgiving and the guy just out of the blue said what's your total i want to pay for it happy thanksgiving you guys i broke down and just cried because I couldn't believe that people still do that. That was super hard for me um, and just was like, took me by surprise. So I don't need anything for her, but we are planning Christmas for her and um, I'm doing 80 for her because she needs a new dog bed really bad. Um, now for me, I'm not really doing anything for me because again, it's Christmas. Um, my fiance though, he does have to he does have a bill like an expense I guess that he spends every single month and so because of that he's getting 250 again this is because the payday on the 30th technically is in January okay so let's go ahead and add that up Okay, that's one thousand one hundred and seventy dollars. So now we're gonna take our remaining here and minus that. So we have three thousand four hundred and seventy minus one thousand one hundred and seventy. That leaves us with two thousand three hundred dollars. Now this is going to be split between credit cards and Christmas. This is not all going to Christmas. This is being split because I'm not spending that much on Christmas. I have debt that I need to pay and so that's important to me. And also this jar right here, I have been saving since October of 21 and I am gonna cash it in here soon and we are gonna use it towards Christmas or a credit card. I'm not entirely sure. And I just wanted to point this out because this is a guesstimate on what I'm going to make. Even if I don't make this, we are still within his paycheck because this is what we have left and this is what I'm expecting to make. So even if I didn't make anything, which is obviously not the case, but even if I didn't make anything, we would still have money. So that is my plan. This is what my month of December looks like. I have not done a monthly budget in so long. So I hope you guys enjoyed. 
if you're still watching, leave this Christmas emoji on the screen right here. Um, and yeah, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let me know if you enjoyed it. I have missed being back and I will be back from here on out. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video, which will be my paycheck budget for um, this paycheck today. So I will see you guys in that video. Bye guys.